We are going to show you how to correctly and safely withdraw medication from an ampule and inject into an IV bag utilizing aseptic technique. We will first demonstrate step-by-step -step outside of the hood so that you can closely see how to break an ampule without injuring yourself. We will demonstrate a few different techniques and explain why we prefer our final method. Then we will move into the laminar flow hood to demonstrate aseptic technique. To begin, we will demonstrate the ampule breaking techniques. First, you swab the neck of the ampule with an alcohol swab. After swabbing the, the ampule, you'll have to break it. This is the trickiest part, and if do not done properly, could result in an injury. The first technique that we will demonstrate involves using gauze. After wiping the ampule with the alcohol swab, you wrap the ampule with the gauze and holding each side firmly, push away from yourself and down. You do not want to point it towards yourself because you don't want to glass to fly at you but you also don't want the glass to fly into the filter because it could tear the filter. The second technique is to just use an alcohol swab. You do the same thing as you did with the gauze. After wiping the neck of the ampule, you simply hold the alcohol swab over the neck and push firmly. The alcohol swab is more slippery, so we don't recommend using it. Now, our favorite technique involves specific placement of your fingers. It does not require gauze, but requires specific finger placement, which makes it a much safer technique. Christine is placing her thumbs facing each other on each side of the ampule neck. She then applies steady pressure while holding the ampule at a slight angle. This will protect your fingers and is the safest method that we have found works best. Now that we have showed you some techniques, we will show you how to do the whole process in the hood. Christine has already properly gowned. Make sure to thoroughly wash your hands and follow the correct order of gowning so as to reduce contamination. Now, Christine will collect the materials. Christine has already assembled the ampule, a filter needle, a regular needle, a syringe, IV bag, alcohol swabs, and port seal. Review the label to determine what drug and IV bag are required. Lay them out in the order of use to help yourself stay organized. We have five milliliters of norepinephrine, and the label said that we needed 16 milligrams. This norepinephrine is eight milligrams per milliliter, so we will use two milliliters. Make sure to check the label and expiration date on both the ampule and the bag. And since this is a horizontal laminar airflow hood, make sure to never block the clean airflow and work six inches from the filter. So now Christine will assemble the filter needle and syringe. Notice that she puts any garbage to the side of the hood. She will then lay this aside as she prepares the ampule. To prepare the ampule, Christine will tap the top of the ampule to remove any excess liquid that is caught. Then she'll swab the neck of the ampule with an alcohol swab. She will then break the ampule using the technique earlier demonstrated with proper finger placement, making sure to put her thumbs on the side of the neck. Notice that she broke it away from herself and is careful with her fingers to avoid cutting herself or the filter. Now Christine will tilt the ampule and remove the two milliliters needed. You can draw down and tap the syringe in order to get rid of any air bubbles. Afterwards, Christine will remove the filter needle and replace it with a normal needle, saving the filter needle to show to the pharmacist. <laughs> Now, Christine will swab the IV bag port.
Once the bag is swabbed, she will inject the two milliliters of norepinephrine into the bag. Notice that she does not block the airflow. Then she will retain the needle and syringe to show the pharmacist and seal the port. Christine will now label the bag with the amount injected and place the preparation, ampule, filter needle, syringe, and needle for the pharmacist to check. And that is how you prepare an IV bag from an ampule.